thank you, Dr. Jackson Ho. Ladies and gentlemen and friends, today is a grand day for our students. But I tell you, I stand before you not just as an ordinary student, nor a man, nor a son, nor a brother, but a student from the Xavier Institute, a representative and ambassador for this institute. What's so special about this institute, you may ask? Of course, for us graduate students, we appreciate what our dear professor has done for us. Ladies and gentlemen, this Xavier Institute was founded by our Professor Charles Xavier. And mind you, this man is a remarkable, for he has an astounding qualification, PhD in genetics, psychology, and biophysics. Some of you all may know our professor, just like Dr. Jack Leon. He has a lot of white hair, so we used to tease him of uh, he's too much of big green, so he has a lot of white hair. But we love him, my dear friends. And I'm sure the students agree. We love our professor and Xavier a lot. Because despite that he has vast knowledge, he's a very humble man. Patient enough to teach, to coach, and to guide his students all the way. No matter where we go, where we come from, or who we are. And the best part is the professor treated us by his own children. Though his own family had perished many years ago in an accident, but he still continues with us as a family. I say this hall, which you all are now seated, and of course the institute itself, started in the early 1990s. Because the professor, he believed that education is the key to our future, the key to the student, the children's future. He called his school, the school for the gifted youngsters, whereby the professor, he scouted far and wide for those young ones who could not afford to pay for his or her education. Not just a poor student or poor young one. Even youngsters got involved in the police, or shall I say, you know about the agency or adolescent delinquency. Because the professor felt that no one, nobody, no young people should be left behind, giving second chance, an opportunity for better education. It took a while for us because I, for one, I'm an orphan. My parents died many years ago, and I was wandering around the street. Of course, to survive. I earned my living by pickpocketing. Then later on, I got caught by the police. Then, by somehow, you can take pictures. The professor rescued me from the police station. He bailed me out and decided to take me in as a student. I wasn't comfortable with him at first. But later on, the police patient invited me. He approached me and he walked over me to make sure that one day, someday, I'll become a responsible citizen. And I'm grateful for what he has taught us. Because he has taught me personally about life, wisdom, and self survival. Which I thought back then. I could live on my own as a young kid, wandering around the street doing pickpocketing. I was wrong. 
The professor showed me another way. The best thing to always remember from Professor Nishin is, is never ever forget where you come from. No matter what we do, how much we know, and do not be afraid of anything that we want to achieve because we shouldn't be, a Professor said. We shouldn't be afraid of the unknown, but be afraid of being ignorant. Look around us. Because I remember the professor once said, because we are ignorant of things happening around us, we become suspicious, fearful, frightened, just like the 911 incident. Everyone we see with long beard and turban, they become our enemy. This is not fear of being ignorant, which we should not be. Of course, there are many things I would like to say about Professor. A lot of things I would like to share with you in this very call. And I don't miss it very much because it's not here with us. For those of you who know. Because a couple of weeks ago, Professor was assassinated on his own home because people do not believe on his vision, do not share on his objective. Because of that, he decided to get rid of the professor. Though he's not around, he's not with us. His teaching still continues, remains in us. Forever. And with that, his legacy will live on even within four walls. My dear friend, remember yourself, remember the experience you With that, always feel the doctor.